C'est la vie de 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 la Okay, for this, I'm going to use rice. Although when I say it's a love dish, leftover, it is not leftover, it is freshly made rice. But you can use anything which you have. We all make rice at home. And we always tend to make more rice. So what do we do the next day? You make a dish which is a bit different. So you add something, you add some more flavor. I'm going to give you a butter, coriander rice with coconut milk. Stir that once. A little oil and a small amount of butter. Let that sizzle. And this, I am going to add some coconut oil. I'm adding coconut milk because I want a little cost of flavor to it. You don't want to add, you can skip it. Coconut milk is very heavy, but it is a very healthy fat. You know, people are very conscious, oh, I don't want to have this, and I don't want to have heavy creams. Coconut milk is a great alternative. It's a very good even for a vegan diet. It's a good product to have if it's a healthy calories. But don't overindulge, add a bit. In certain parts of India, I'm very lucky I've traveled. I actually had in food, they used to make coffee, black coffee, and they were poor hospital milk. And it was absolutely delicious, trust me. It just sounds a bit off, but it is beautiful. When people go on specific diets in India, especially first thing in the morning, they ask you to have a small teaspoon of coconut oil. Uh, coconut oil. Why? It's good for your body. Not just for your hair, but also for your, for your body. In this small amount of water, it just to thin down the coconut milk and not make it too heavy. I'm going to bring that to the boil. Always keep an eye on the prawns. Otherwise, no, 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 no. Just, just keep one eye here, one eye there, and it'll be okay. Cotton milk tends to be Swedish. So I'm going to add a small amount of salt. And I've got some boiled rice or steamed rice, pre cooked. Over rice goes into the liquid. But there's a reason behind that, there's a story behind that, and it happened purely by accident. Uh, we were making rice in London, and uh, the chef was making saffron rice, and he put more water into the stock. And when you add more water, the rice became very mushy and creamy. And he was quite scared because there was a large batch of one kilo of rice with saffron, it was very expensive. And we didn't want to throw it. So we said, no, keep it, but cook it through. So what it became, it became like a khichdi. A khichdi, a lot of vegans will probably understand who are sitting here, is rice made with lentils. And it is served to any member of the family who is unwell. So it soothes your body, very comforting. So they add ghee, and they add butter, and they add some vegetables. But it is lentils and uh, rice cooked together, so it's full of protein. Now what we started doing was, we stopped putting the dal in there, the lentil, we just made the rice. And the same thing we have utilized into the airline the Qatar Airways for our passengers because we realize when we fly in the airline, the rice becomes too dry, becomes very chewy and then glass, it has pieces, become very hard. But this rice, when you reheat in the aircraft, it tastes quite nice. It still remains moist, it still got some flavor and it does not dry out. So when you have spoonful sitting in your seat in the plane, it actually tastes nice. And you can add saffron, you can add vegetables, you can add chicken, you can add corn, you can add lobster. And to lower the heat. This is almost ready. I'm going to add a little bit more butter. The butter really gives it a nice mouthfeel when you eat it. Shall we taste that? I'm going to give you a spoon. So, 
The rice is done, the prawn is also done, and lastly to finish it off, I'm going to switch off the heat. This is very, very important. This, this is a very important tip for the people who don't get this right. They when you use fresh herbs for cooking, you see most Indian restaurants will do a dish and they have coriander. And by the time it comes to your table to serve, the coriander is not green. It will become brown, dirty green color, mainly color, you know, olive dark, olive color. The aromas are lost, the nutrients are lost, the chlorophyll is all evaporated, it is all overcooked. Always add coriander at the last into your dish, never at the start. So when you are serving to your family and friends at home, put the coriander at the very last. The same thing you should do with garam masala powder. With garam masala powder, a lot of the Indian chefs make a mistake by adding garam masala during cooking or during the process of ancient powder cooking with hot oil. You never do that. And the reason why is because Garam masala powder is a blend of spices which have been pre-roasted, so they only cook and then they ground. So they're very aromatic, they're full of perfume. They have a very light flavor but they're more aromatic. And you sprinkle it onto your dish. So when you get the dish to your table, it smells nice, it has a nice perfume. In very simple terms, you have a shower and you get ready and you put a perfume and you go out. You don't put a perfume and have a shower. You don't put a Same thing with garam masala. It's a little swish of perfume so you feel fresh, then you off. The rice is done, the coriander goes in now, they are mixed. The gas is already switched off. The most important part is that we all learn to cook, we all cook at home, we all enjoy to cook. But there is a small little effort you must do. And that is to try and make a feel good noise. Let's just start off. This tastes great on your bowl or into a plate, but when you're putting it onto your table for your friends and family, it's very important that you make a little bit of effort to make it look nice. And that little bit of effort can really change the entire thing. And that is by actually putting it onto a plate and making the food look more wonderful. So I've got a small ring here. If you have a chance, please invest into small rings like these. It could be plastic or it could be a steel. But these will last you for a very, very, very long time. After you don't lose them, you won't discard them. They're very hygienic, they're very good to use. So the rice. Close in. We, we, we also do this dish on Qatar Airways. So if you're traveling on business class or first class, this dish flies in certain sectors. And this is served exactly as the way I'm doing for you now. This dish is also being utilized into a restaurant here at Safi. In fact, this dish is in all our restaurants. Uh, rice with coach prawns, Nariel Jinka. We have 12 restaurants basically starting from London, which is the flagship. Then Geneva and Mauritius, Mumbai, Dubai, Bahrain, Doha, and Saudi Arabia. So I must say the Middle East has been fantastic for us in terms of the growth. So the rice is done. It's okay. It is heavy. It is heavy. So if you look at it, the prawns are almost done. They are all whitish. They are shriveled up. They are shrunk. This is perfectly healthy. That is Mariam's coconut 
actually from the coriander butter rice. Not a bad, nothing. <laughs> she has she has made this lovely dish. Are you happy with that, Mani? It's a shame you can't eat it. Can we get a veg version for her? Sure. Can you this? Simple things. That's what you do with the food, which is done simply with lots of flavor, lots of care, and lots of passion. And this clarity is very important. And this is what food does. It brings you a smile on your face. It makes you feel nice. It warms your soul. Well done, Thank you very much. It was a nice experience. Thank you for coming up. Not me. <laughs> Something nice about what you did. Sorry? Something nice, hopefully. No, it was a great experience. Yeah, I'm oh, sorry. Get your camera. Oh, okay.